Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Sunday the 26th of February. I hope you are keeping well. At least I hope you are keeping well better than my cat who's gone off to the hospital for his regular treatment. I really had to fight with him. I do have so much sympathy, the poor thing. Uh, he knows, he associates getting into the basket with uh, having to go to the hospital and he knows it's very painful each time he has this treatment. And so the poor thing was fighting like crazy to not get in the basket, you know. <laughs> oh, um, it's it's really sad, um, but uh, it's a it's a it's no, there's no choice, you know. He either has the treatment or dies, so uh, there's no choice. Unfortunately, he has to suffer the pain. Uh, I wish I had. Uh, I wish there were such things as animal psychologists, you know, like a Doctor Doolittle type or something that could actually speak to the animals because he does have psychological problems. Uh, my cat. And uh, he could be kind of half cured or his problems would be much better if he only understood English or Thai or any other language that a human might utter to him. Poor thing, really poor thing. Anyway, so I'm expecting a telephone call from the hospital because it's been quite a few hours now. And so this is uh, possibly going to be what the football commentators, when I say football, I mean soccer, uh, call a game of two halves. And if you're from England, you'll know the idiocy of that comment. Uh, right uh, now. What am I going to do? I'm going to play the New York Times hard level puzzle. What am I going to use? I'm going to use pencil marks. How do I know this? I know because I already tried it a moment ago and messed it up. Uh, I, I just messed it up um, from say, making some silly mistakes. And so uh, I, I just got to start again. Um, but I do know where something is. Ha ha. Now I could kind of pretend that I know where the thing is without pencil marks, but I don't. I couldn't find it without pencil marks. So I shall use pencil marks. And anyway, I think uh, I, only, I, I didn't finish the game. I only got a certain way through, part of the way through it. And I'm probably going to need pencil marks to the end. It is, well, I thought it was a tough game, although I, I did spot some stuff as I was moving along there that I didn't spot, uh, that, I, that I probably wouldn't have spotted without uh, pencil marks. Right, let's begin. So we've got nines blocking like so. So that gives me a nine here. As I say, some... You know, I, I'm off to a bit of a head start here because I've seen this stuff. Uh, now I've got the eight and the four blocking down here. I'm going to put in the pencil marks four and eight here. And I'm going to put twos here. And I'm going to put um, threes in those squares. And I'm going to put fives anywhere. Now I've also got a five in this square because of the fives blocking up and up and across these two rows, right? So that's a five there. Uh, now I can see that the threes, oops, excuse me, threes have to go in those squares there. The ones have to go in those squares there. Uh, you say I'm doing pencil marks already? Yes, I am, because I'm going to need them. And so uh, if I see anything uh, easy, uh, then that's what I'm going to do. Uh, we have four blocking down here and four across here like this. So we have fours in those squares and we have fours in those squares there as well. Uh, we've got a pair of twos over here. By the way, this central shoot is where I'm going to find uh, something nice, a nice surprise. Although it won't be a surprise for me anymore. Uh, seven blocks across here and seven blocks up here. So we get a pair of sevens in those squares. And uh, I don't know what else there is, really. Um, I mean, I do I have an idea of what's coming, but uh, uh, we have twos down here and two down here. So we put a pair of twos uh, in those squares and we're going to get two somewhere up there. Um, OK, so like I say, the, the, the thing that I'm going to magically find uh, is going to be in the central shoot. So I'm going to. Uh, fill up the candidates for this central shoot, right? So we've got ones blocking across like this. So we need ones uh, in all of these squares here. Two's done already. Three. Uh, three blocks up here and across and across like that. So we get threes in those squares here. We could still have threes uh, like this. We get a pair of threes down here, by the way. So fours block across here, we get fours in those squares there. Four blocks across here like this. 
So we have fours there. Uh, fives are still possible in any of those squares there and here. Right, six blocks across here like this, so we have sixes in these squares. Six, uh, we don't know anything about six up here, so let's just put the sixes in. Uh, seven is a pair down here. And you can go in those squares up there. Um, eight is in these squares here and these squares here. Right, you can see the patterns for eight. And nine blocks up here and across here, so we get nines in those squares there and we have a pair of nines here like this so I think that is it. I've done everything one two three four is that looking good yeah fives just to check yes sixes seem to be in order sevens okay eight yes I think so and nine Seem to be done correctly. Right, okay. Now, what is it I discovered? By the way, it only took me a second as soon as I'd... I'd, I'd actually filled in the candidates on this right-hand side, but as soon as I saw the 4, 5, and 6, I realized, okay, I've got 4, 5, and 6, three numbers in three squares. It means that this has to be an 8, so we can remove uh, these 8s here. Why do I have a digit 8 here? I don't know why that's there. Accidentally put it in, I think. Um... Right, now we have eight blocking across here, eight blocking across here, and eight up here, so we can place our eight uh, in that square there, and then eight blocks down here, so this would be our eight, this would be our four, so this must be our four, and we're left with only one three there. Let's remove that, that four there. Uh, only one place where the two can go, so the two is here. Only one place where the seven can go, the seven is there. And the last digit to place here is a six, which means that we can now remove those sixes there. Uh, now we know that two is the only other missing digit uh, from this uh, column here, and there's one missing digit here. Uh, what is it? It's a seven, I think. Okay, and then the last number to place here will be a six. And so now we can get rid of the sixes over there. And the seven also must disappear. And this is only as far as I go. I didn't get any further than this, but I messed it up with the I messed it up putting in the candidate for five. So this is about as far as I've got. I haven't got further than this. So from here on in, it's new to me as well. Oh, I know what I've got to do. Yes, get rid of the... So I've got four, five, and six. I haven't got rid of the other numbers yet. So here I've got to get rid of the five and the six. And here I've got to get rid of the four. So we end up with a pair of three and nine there. Okay. Right, I think that's as far as I got. Just seeing if there's anything else uh, notable. I don't know. Right, so I'm going to go and click on the digits again now because I might see things that I haven't seen before. Ones are in those squares. Twos are now, well, they probably were before. I've actually always been up there, but I didn't put that in before. Twos are in those squares there. Three, we can't get a pair. Four, uh, no pair. Five, still no pair. Six, uh, yes, yeah, six blocks across here. So we did get a pair of sixes there. Um, sevens are a pair down here now.
eights are up here here. And nines are up here in those squares. Okay, so uh, I think I can finish putting in the candidates. Now, yes, I know there are a lot of candidates. Yes, notation free players. Yes, I bow to your superiority, but <laughs> this is how I play the game. So that's how it is on this channel. Um, mm, 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 okay, all right, well, let's just do it. So, uh, ones, do we know anything? I don't think so. So, let's put all ones in there. Two, three, four blocks across like this. So, we get fours in those squares. Seven blocks across like this. So, we get sevens in those squares. And eight and nine done. Okay, uh, down here, one across here, so uh, ones in these squares here, three blocks across here and down here, so we get threes in those squares. F oh, four is in, maybe they're doing four, five blocks down here and across here and down here, so fives in those squares. Six, okay, blocking across here. I don't think we can say more than that. Sixes go there. Eight blocks across here and down here. So three possibilities for eight. Okay, we've got a pair of one and three here. So we know that these ones cannot be true. We've got a pair of five and nine there now. I don't think that really affects anything though. Uh, but here we've got one, three, six, eight. One, three, six, eight, four numbers in four squares. So this six has got to go. And this six and eight has got to go. Oh, I've got a three here, look. Damn, I've got to get rid of those threes and finish. <laughs> No doubt you've been screaming at me, but there you go, done now. Uh, get rid of the nine. And there. And this will be nine. And this will be our three. Yes, I know it's not the most beautiful or elegant solution. I have said it so many times. That's not the aim of this channel. This channel is just to get to the end. Uh, I believe this is the only two in this, uh, two, the only possible two in this row now. So we'll place the two there and we shall remove candidate two from there as well. Uh, so what we're left with, five and seven here, so this can't be a five. Uh, it has to be a six, and then this will be an eight. And so here we will get rid of the six and the eight, and here we get rid of the six. Okay. And also we've got to get rid of sixes in those squares. So it's gradually getting a bit tidier I suppose oh we've got five here so this has to be a seven then and this can't be a seven seven will be somewhere across there seven will not be in this square okay Um, hmm. Okay, I think we're doing okay. So 
There's, I just fill in the uh, candidates in this lower uh, bottom left uh, block here. What have we got? One, two, three. Do we have four? What do we know about four? Four blocks like that. So four is possible there. And five blocks down here. So five still possible. I wonder if we're going to get a single here. Five here. Uh, six. Uh, six is in one of those squares. So that means this has to be a six because this is the only six for this um, particular column. Let's get rid of the sixes there. And now this is the only space for an eight here. So we'll put the eight here, we'll put the eight here, and we'll remove the candidate eight from here. Uh, seven blocks this square, seven blocks this square, so that has to be a seven for this column. And so we can get rid of sevens in those squares like that, and that gives me a seven up there. We have one blocking this square, so this has to be a one. Our three will be here, our three will be here, our three will be here. And this will not be three, and neither will that. Six. So we've got five, six here. Oh, I haven't finished all. Have I finished all the candidates? I'm not sure. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have. So then this has to be a four. So that will be a four. And this is our one, two, one, two. Six, one, one, two, that's a four. Six is in that square, six is in this square, six is in that square, five is here, five is here. So yes, I know I've played it in a very scrappy way, but uh, I have got you to the end, which is all I promise on this channel. Don't promise to do more than that. Um, this can't be a three, can it? And we've got four blocking down here. So this is, in fact, our one. This is our four. Two goes there. Two is here. Five is there. Four is here. And five finishes today's uh, around the houses, <laughs> in my style, uh, New York Times hard level game. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.